you notice that I have access to all available workspaces and menu items because I've been assigned to be a system administrator. Now it's time to take a look at some of the operational workspaces from the main dashboard or from the workspaces menu group. I choose sales order processing and inquiry. Depending on the pattern, it consists of different areas, summary, detail, and links. From the top of this workspace, I can perform actions without going through the sales and the marketing main menu and look for this specific menu items. The workspace makes it a bit easier and it will be act as part of the primary navigation mechanism for each role. You can consider the workspace as a form that supports a, a specific business activity. In this scenario, it supports all the business activities related to sales order processing and inquiry. It allows a user that is a member of sales and marketing department perform light tasks in this workspace to avoid the round trip to deeper pages. It also enables a salesperson to understand the current state of activity to support informed decision. For example, as you notice, there are two unconfirmed sales orders, whereas there are 153 delayed order lines and there is one confirmed sales order. However, there are no orders on hold. From the main menu, I click New and select Sales Order. The Create Sales Order dialog box will appear. I choose a customer account. System automatically populates adequate information such as delivery name and address. It also provides me with a sales order number. Due to the setup of the number sequence, the number has automatically been created and assigned for me. We have a different discussion in regard to the number sequences in a separate video. The default currency is United States dollar. As part of finance series, you learn how to work with currencies and how to set up the default currency or accounting currency as well as the reporting currency. By scrolling down, you can also take a look at the order type, which happens to be the sales order. You can default the site and warehouse that could be indeed defaulted for each line within this sales order. Regardless of which product you're using, this takes precedence and applies the site and the warehouse for each product that you're adding in, even though the product may have a different site and a warehouse as a default value assigned to it. As you notice, I only type in the warehouse, but since the warehouse is assigned to a site, the value of a site automatically gets populated. For now, I click OK, and a sales order automatically gets created for Cave Wholesales. And depending on the system requirements that has been assigned within the system, the requested ship date and receipt date has already been selected for me. Assume that the requested ship date happens to be the March 16th of 2021. However, the requested receipt date is three days later. You could also simulate the delivery dates, which we will discuss in more details as part of our supply chain management series. I collapse the sales order header line and from the item number from the sales order lines, I choose an item. I select A0001 which is the HDMI 6-inch cable. 